thing about this piece is you've got to change from bowed to pizzicato very quickly. Now, I'm going to show you this close to the camera. The way we do this is we've got the bow like this, and then we roll the hair towards you up in the fingers, and then you end up with a plucking finger and your thumb ready to sit here. Now, here and to here. Now I'll show you that sideways. We go from here, we just roll the fingers up, and then you're left with these two here. So that's the important thing when it comes to the technique of this. Now that's a good thing to practice. You can practice that, but probably do it without the cello underneath it. Put some, put some cushions on the ground or something, just to make sure if you drop the bow, it's not the end of the world. Um, and the other thing about this piece is making sure that you've got that swing uh, on the quavers and a bit of menace. So a bit of menace in the, in the pits and then when you swing quavers, uh, in, it means that instead of dun, da, 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 you get yum, dun, de, yum, de, yum. So this, the quavers are a little uneven there. So when you go to the bowed section, instead of, and it just means you get this real nice jazzy feel.